Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology, this time with a unit on the McNamara test. The McNamara test can be used to compare two samples to related dependent or paired samples where in both cases we only have a 0, 1 a dichotomous variable. So for example something like what's done here in the last two variables someone is asked would you buy this product before they are shown some kind of informational sheet or some kind of advertisement campaign and then afterwards they are asked the same question would you buy this product? Well if we want to see whether the decision changes significantly so if the values before significantly differ from the values afterwards we can run the McNamara test. We can do this in two ways both ways we need non-parametric test. One way would be the newer version here with the related samples dialog or we go with the legacy dialogs and run here the two related samples. So let's do this older version first. So I select the two groups before and after. Then down here I select the McNamara test. Click on OK and get here my results. This test, which basically works on a chi squared test, tells me with a significance level of 0 0.45 that we cannot reject H0 and H0 here means that they are sharing the same distribution, that the two variables do not significantly differ from each other. This then means that even though our observations, our cases have seen something like an advertisement, read through an information sheet or got any additional information on a product, in the end their overall willingness to buy the product has not significantly changed. Well, this is the way to go with the legacy dialogues. Looks similar if I go with here the related samples. First off I have to select the fields I want to compare, so would buy before, would buy after. Then with settings I could go here to customize tests and select the McNamara test. If I click on run, you see here I get the exact same significance level and I get the same result. Retain the H0 hypothesis. We see here distributions are equally likely. So the two variables do not differ. Whatever happens between the two situations did not impact the distributions of the two variables did not impact the general outlook of this variable. Well, this then already concludes this unit on the McNamara test. I hope you enjoyed listening to it and if you want to see more of this type of videos feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.